Hello everyone! In the past we've made a video demonstrating how to use the Batinov mask. So the last thing that we have purchased for our telescope, this is called a Batinov mask. We just place it over the telescope like that and we'll play a short clip in just a second about how we do it. It basically helps us focus in seconds to get the best image possible. And then every time someone asks us uh, which episode it was or what time frame it was in, we can't remember. So we're doing this video today so we can show you um, how to focus really quick and have one video just for that. So it's much easier to link it to the guys. And um, yeah, so we're gonna use this bad enough mask right here and let's do it. Step one, aim your telescope at the bright star. Try not to choose a star that is too bright like Sirius or it might affect your precision later. It helps if your mount is tracking, so you don't have to chase after it. Step 2. With your camera on, go into live view so you can see the star easily and play around with the focusing knobs just so you can get a quick, approximate focus. Step 3. Use the maximum digital zoom your camera would allow to get a closer look at the star and center it right. Step 4. Place the Batinov mask at the end of the telescope using the holding screws that came with it. Notice the spikes that appeared on the star. Step 5. Using the precision focusing knob, do your best to have the vertical spikes tracking the star exactly in the center. A very bright star like Sirius might affect the precision depending on your scope's focal length. Step 6. You're done! You can now take off the mask and put it away. It is a good idea to tighten the lock on your telescope's focuser so that you don't lose focus during the night. Here is a closer look at what you want to achieve during your focus. Yeah, almost there. Perfect. It takes a bit of practice, but after one or two tries, it's just like riding a bike. We have a link for our Batinov mask in the description. Just make sure you get the right one for your telescope's aperture. You can also do this when it is not entirely dark yet. It works fine when bright stars start to appear. We hope this video was really useful to you guys so that you can learn how to use a Batinov mask. And this is really cheap and it won't break, you know. People often use autofocuser or other uh, laptops, for example, to, to focus automatically. But this is cheap, it's like 20 bucks. It will not break, uh, you won't lose it. And yeah, so we'll see you next time for another video and kiss guys. <laughs>